a very good morning students so next very important topic uh, of our syllabus is designing the transformer we understood the single phase transformer we have drawn its phase we have understood the three phase transformer we have seen the different vector now let's talk about the designing of the transformer so transformer can be of single phase uh, core type and single phase shell type as we have seen in the module one then talking about the three phase types, three phase is also divided into core and shell type. So it is very difficult to carry in from transformation point of view because it is a real gauge. So hence we usually carry um, difficulty arises because of a roller level to reduce the height of the transformer. Generally, five limb core is enough. So as we have also discussed the same problem in the module one that is position of the windings with respect to its core unless other specified low voltage winding is always placed next to the core and high voltage winding over the low voltage winding in order to reduce the quantity of insulation used and avoid the possibility of the big bond down the space between the core and high voltage coil in the case high voltage coil is provided next to the core and to control the leakage reactants also the tappings can be given on the high voltage side same problem we have also discussed in single phase transformer and again discussing it and designing the transformer. So next is your before designing the transformer you should have idea about the iron core and the window area. Let's first divide the complete specification transformers into few uh, points. For example, this particular portion of the core is called as AI that is iron area. And this particular area is the window area that is height of the window and width of the window. So AW increases the size of the transformer also and the size of the transformer increases the overall output of the transformer also increases. Before proceeding for further derivations we must know this uh, short forms V1, V2 are the applied primary and secondary terminal voltages. E1 and E2 are the EMFs, T1 and T2 are the number of turns with respect to primary and secondary, I1 and I2 are the primary and secondary currents, T1 and E2 will be using as notifying the cross sectional area of the winding conductors, delta as the current density in the transformer conductor, assumed to be seen for low voltage and high voltage winding. Find is the maximum value of flux in Weber's that is area into the maximum flux density and if AI is given we can replace by phi m by bm also so bm is nothing but our maximum flux density bm is equal to phi m by ai can also be written if in the equation we have bm replace it by phi m by ai also so ai is nothing but net a iron area of the core we have discussed in this figure and ki is ai is basically equal to ki into ag what is ki it is an iron stagging factor the kind of stagging is going to be so it usually remains constant you always take in terms of 0.9 irrespective if you will get a numerical on this particular topic irrespective of whether it's given in the question or not you have to put this value as 0.9 so ag is your cross area of the core this V1 upon V2, V1 upon V2 is equal to T1 upon V2 is equal to I2 upon I1. Very known equation to everyone. So it is very clear that volt ampere input is equal to volt ampere output or KV rating of both primary and secondary is same. Next point we are going to consider is I1 T1 and I2 T2 or primary MFF is equal to secondary MLF. Last but not the least, also E1 upon T1 is equal to E2 upon T2. We also call it as volt per turn for both the primary and secondary frequency. So the, these are the considerations we are taking before proceeding to our uh, the main derivations. What the KV rating for both primary and secondary should be same. The MMF required for both primary and secondary should be same. And the volt per turn for both primary and secondary should be same. So we need to take, uh, calculate the output equations for both single phase first and then three phase transformer talking about the core type single phase. So rating of the transformer is given in terms of V1 I1 into 10 to the power minus 3. So which is nothing but E1 I1 into 10 to the power 
power minus 3 even we have already derived in case of single phase transformer the emf equation into i1 into 10 to the power minus 3 so here area of copper is in nothing but the a1 what is even cross sectional area of primary and secondary so a1 into t1 number of turns a2 is cross sectional area of the secondary and t2 is the number of turns of the secondary this is how we calculate the area of copper in the window so a1 t1 is nothing but equal to i1 a1 is nothing but i1 upon current density current pass i pass into the primary value upon its current density current pass into the secondary value upon its current density so it will be 2 i1 t1 by del equal to aw kw we have all discussed these abbreviations in the previous slides so revise those and then start your derivation so i1 t1 will be equal to aw kw into current density by 2 Replace this I1 T1 in the equation 1. So 4.44 AI BM. So 5M is replaced by AI BM into F as it is and T1 I1 is replaced by AW KW del by 2 into 10 to the minus 3. So this will be your output equation of single phase transformer. The same equation is elaborated one more time. Go through this slide. Now talking about three phase core type transformer as we already know derive the equation for single phase multiply the same equation by three so you will get since there are two windows in three phase it is sufficient to design one of the two windows as both the windows are symmetrical since each leg carries the low voltage and high voltage value of one phase each window carries the low voltage and high voltage value of the two phases respectively since each window of the winding carries two phases area of the copper set into R and by phase will be A1 T1 plus A2 T2 plus A1 T1 plus A2 T2. This will be the difference between going to observe in single phase and three phase. So here you will get four times I1 T1 upon 10 equal to AW KW. In this is the difference between single phase and three phase. You are going to measure and other differences you have to multiply the whole equation by three. Substitute the value from here that is from 2 in equation 1. So KV will be 3 into 4.4 for this whole equation putting value of I1 and T1 over here and finally obtaining the equation of output equation of 3 phase core type transform. Talking about the 3 phase shell type transformer you already have derived the single phase equation multiply it by 3. And also, since there are six windows, talking about the shell construction, it is sufficient to design one of the six windows. Each window carries low voltage and high voltage winding of one phase only. Like even in, the, in this phase, it was carrying winding of two of the phases in go type. In shell type, each window is carrying low voltage and high winding, high voltage winding one phase only. So, areas of copper is again. A1 into T1 cross sectional area into number of turns for primary plus cross sectional area into number of turns for secondary. I1 is current passing through primary and its current density, current passing through secondary and its current density. So, therefore, I1 T1 is equal to AW KW into del by 2, replacing this equation 2 in equation 1, and we are going to finally obtain the output equation of a three phase shell type transformer. Now what to do with these output equations? You should also know how to calculate volt per turn because you usually get numerical along with the output equation to calculate volt per turn of the given transformer. So considering the output of one phase that is KV rating IP VP into 10 to the power minus 3. So this equation we have already derived. So IP into this is going to give this equation. So the ratio of phi m by at is a constant for transformer. Like this is the flux, this is the area, uh, cross section area and this is the number of turns. So once these are decided, the transform is during the designing time itself. Later on it is not going to change with respect to the moment of the current or um, with respect to the change of flow. So it is a constant value depending upon the given type, service and method of the construction. So let's name it by a constant small r. 
So again taking the equation 1, 4.445 m f 80 into 10 to the power minus 3. So 5 m f and 80. So here your 5 m by 80 is r. So I have replaced by 80 by 5 m by r. So I have replaced 80 by what? 5 m by r. And again rotating it, I have replaced 80 by 5 m by r. So you're going to obtain 5m square, 5m into 5m is going to make 5m square upon r. So you will get your value of, uh, this, this is your main equation, you need to find your 5m, that is the flux. m represents the maximum flux, so under root of r into 10 to the power minus 10 to the power 3 upon 4.44f dot under root of k. So this is nothing but the KV rating of the transformer. So voltage per turn that is ET is equal to 4.44 FIM replacing this value of IM in this equation. Volt per turn. So replacing this IM in this equation, putting the value, taking this in common, into under root of K. Now let's assume this whole as K as we have done in case of single phase transformer also. K under root of q. So how are you going to obtain the value of q? Under root of this we have assumed as k. So 4.44 fr 10 to the power 3. So 4.44 f into this is replaced by 5m by 80. Putting this value of small r again from this equation which in previously we have again assumed a constant. So 5m by 80 into 10 to the power 3 to the power f. So again you can see that the complete k is a constant value. Phi m by 80 is a constant depending upon the type service and method of construction of transformer. f frequency will be constant. Hence this whole value k will be constant. So the whole pattern is completely depending upon the value of this q that is k we are rating. Hence what we can conclude in the end as the ratio of phi m of 80 depend upon the type and therefore k is also constant whose value depend upon the type and service of the method of construction. Hence, volt per turn is completely dependent upon the KV rating of the transformer. Go through these derivation of output equation of single phase and three phase transformer according to the volt per turn. They accordingly calculate the volt per turn ratio also. I will be giving the numerical on the theme, these topics soon. Thank you.